Business Watch is brought to you by BMW. Mere days after the finance minister announced budgetary cuts amounting to $1.3 billion due to falling oil prices, Central Bank Governor Joala Rambaran is saying there is no need to worry at this stage. We should not suffer a panic attack or hyperventilate yet. He is insisting that 70% of energy revenue comes from natural gas and only 30% comes from oil. He says TNT is raking in a considerable amount from gas exports. The net back price for LNG at Point Fortin is currently around US $5.50 per million British tumor units. That is double the budgeted natural gas price. Governor Rambaran says the finance minister has the option of dipping into the Heritage and Stabilization Fund to finance budgetary shortage. But this, he says, is not necessary at this stage. Further expenditure cuts should be made if shortfalls in energy revenues persist for an extended period of time. He says TNT survived when oil prices collapsed in the mid-1980s and in 2008. The governor says the TNT economy did not perform as well as expected this year. Instead of the projected 2.5% economic growth, the economy only grew by 0.5%. The slowdown was linked to a dismal performance in the energy sector, with output contracting by 1.5% for the first nine months of the year due to maintenance and plant shutdowns by major energy companies, while growth in the non-energy sector increased by over 2%. Meanwhile, the inflation rate increased from 7.5% to 9% due to an increase in food price inflation which is almost 20%. The central bank also increased its repo rate by another 25 basis points to 3.25%. This is a signal for commercial banks to increase interest rates. Well, first, I do anticipate that the banks will disregard the signals. And second is we always have moral suasion. But falling oil prices, rising inflation rate, lower economic growth, and fall in energy sector output are not the major threats facing Trinidad and Tobago. The peril that has the potential to test us the most in 2015 will come from those storm clouds gathering over increases in U.S. interest rates. Two consecutive increases in the repo rate by the central bank will mean higher lending rates. Judy Kanhai, CNC3 Business Watch. Business Watch was brought to you by BMW.